Welcome to the Upbeat Gardener. I'm Marian Owen. For 20 years, we've heard rumblings about the links between salt and high blood pressure. Now there are signs that salt is moving to the top of the health agenda. Recently, the Center for Science and the Public Interest filed a lawsuit against the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, claiming the government hasn't done enough to reduce salt intake. Americans, on average, eat about 5,000 milligrams of sodium a day, the equivalent of a teaspoon and a half of salt. That's almost double what we consumed in the 1970s. Salt has become one of the hardest ingredients to flush out of the American diet. Salt keeps bread from going stale, makes ingredients taste better, and enhances sweetness, qualities known for centuries. Until mining methods improved, salt was a precious commodity. For example, Roman soldiers received payments in salt, called salarium, hence the modern word salary. While the courts wrangle over who is responsible for our salt cravings, here are five things you can do to reduce your sodium intake. First, take the salt shaker off your table. Next, don't add salt to water when cooking vegetables. And then limit your intake of processed foods. Canned soups, mixes, even ketchup is loaded with salt. And read the labels. You'll be surprised how often the S word, sodium, appears. Finally, try herbs for seasoning instead of salt. Fresh garlic, ginger, red pepper flakes, lemon juice, and horseradish give foods a tasty zing without the salt. In Kodiak, Alaska, I'm Marion Owen.